the rock bar mid there. Now it's time to go ahead and put our cylinder valve head covers back in. So there you go, the four screws. I usually try to keep everything in place. So this is it. We're gonna go ahead and put this one back in. The exhaust usually face on the very top uh, from the engine. So there we go. It might be flexed any way it wants, but it's the same. Oh, by the way, this uh, valve, this cylinder head by NCY is actually uh, non-EGR, meaning for emission control, it's mainly for performance off-road use. So I just wanna make sure you note that it's gonna be blocked off. So that means they'll keep all its compression and not use anything for emission control or emission for California. So I'm in California myself, so this is why I recommend. Just you know, just make sure that you use it for off-road, they say. Yeah, in case the cops pull you over, they will check. If they do, then most likely, you know, probably won't. But if you do, just want to let you know that I'm not recommending it for daily use. Uh, then again, this is, we're doing this for performance. And I just want to put my disclosure, but just tell you offhand is off-road use. If I haven't yet, so. Here we go, all this is done. We're just gonna go and seal everything back in, and we are done. We torqued up to specs. We changed the cam gear. We also put the new Tata rocker arm. I also had a Tata valve cover as well, but you no, know, it's right here. It says Tata on there. But I think we'll be fine. We'll just use uh, pretty much the original. Uh, the valve cover is not gonna get performance, I don't think. Uh, it does have a better gasket on the inside. You can see here, Tata makes it really much more quality. You can see the gasket here. They actually have a gasket inside their uh, valve cover cylinder head. So that's really cool. So we're gonna go ahead and tighten these down. Again, this is gonna be torqued to about no more than uh, five foot pounds or 60 inch pound. Just keep in mind again, the bigger number is for inch pound, not for foot pound. Um, you won't get that confused. Just remember the five foot pound uh, for all the screws with the, their threads are usually not eight millimeter, they're more like six millimeter. And that's why you need to make sure you torque in no more than about five foot pounds or 60 inch pounds. And then as far as the bigger rocker arm, which takes a 12 millimeter, we can go up to seven uh, foot pounds or 84 uh, inch pounds. So we're gonna tighten all these downs here. We got all the last screws. I did a star shape. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use a torque wrench. Again, if you don't have a torque wrench, it's not the biggest thing in the world uh, deal. Uh, but you can just keep it that way. So we're gonna go ahead and torque it to about specs here. All right, there we go. This is there. It's all done. We're torquing it. I can hear it clip. And you, sometimes your torque wrench won't hear a noise, but you can hear it, it just keeps going rotating. There we go, that way you know it's already torqued. Two specs. Okay, we got that down now. We can go ahead and put the covers back on. Again, keep in mind though, if you're using the original, uh, which more likely you will, you're gonna actually have to do a little bit modifying for the cylinder heads, just be on this corner here, this edge, you can just cut it a little bit on it. And just, you can use anything from like a, a little sand or just even a little uh, cutting board knife. You can just trim a little bit off here, or else it's gonna be a very, very tight fit. So, here we go. Are we almost in time, Donnie? Yes. Okay, give me about uh, 10 more minutes, I'm gonna wrap up the show. Okay, we're gonna be uh, wrapping this up here. And we're gonna go ahead and take the studs back off from the old cylinder head, which I'm gonna show you here. Man, here, this is pretty much old cylinder head. So we're gonna go ahead and rob this stud back, because we need it to put back into our new cylinder head and see why. There we go. Again, these are pretty loose, so don't think that it's gonna be that easy just to use your hands and everything. Uh, you will need some kind of, you know, some kind of vice grips. Uh, you can also, you know, uh, use some thread. Remo uh, they have tools for you can actually use some threads thing. And then this one's, if you're gonna plan to keep it long, you can yeah, put some blue uh, Loctite on the ends as well, and you can keep them in there. Uh, again, keep in mind though that these are, uh, their length, the longer stud ends, will actually go inside the cylinder head, and the shorter ones will be coming on top, just to pretty much for your lug nuts. Okay, and then these again are about 10 millimeter. So we're gonna put these in.
and most people usually when they get to this point they upgrade this usually to like a, maybe a 28 uh, to a 30 uh, 30 um, what do you call that intake manifold size for the carburetor is going to be a 30 so usually people upgrade to a bigger higher performance uh, since this valve here is a little bit bigger than this, the stock ones so everything is pretty much in proportion okay so we got that tightened down now we can go ahead and unbolt and screw this here actually doing what I wanted to do normally it's not that easy <laughs> Here we go, especially when you're holding the camera. No, it's not doing all that. It's actually unscrewing it myself. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and take it off. That way you can see it. I can use both hands. But you can see pretty much already from the angle what it looks like. Okay. So I'm going to use a 10 millimeter. And we're going to use some, uh, well, pliers right now. It's not, that, it's not that secured on there, but it's still pretty heavy. There we go. There we go. 10 millimeter. Make sure it's really tight in there. There we go. This one, I'm going to try to put back the manifold that originally came with there so you can see what the manifold looks like when it's popped back in. Okay. The manifold also has gasket. Again, keep in mind that Tata gives you gasket when you get the cylinder head. So we'll use the Tata gasket here that came with the cylinder. I can find it here. There we go. Got a tailing gun. It also comes with extension. If you're going to use it for the bigger one, the gasket goes first, by the way, and then you have also this, the extension part. So you're going to put that in there. You're going to put this razor in there next. And then you're not going to screw it in yet because the housing needs to go over first. So we're going to go and start put the housing in there. So you can see what I did here. You put the gasket in first. There you go, you got the gasket. And then you got the, the thicker razor there, I call it. Just a little bit razor. And then this one right here, what it does, is between the gasket and the aluminum plastic, it will create that uh, cushion there with this gasket here. But this one will have its own little ring here. And you can replace these, usually when you buy another manifold, it comes with it. But you only get one gasket with the cylinder head, and that's enough for this one right here. Okay, so we're going to put this last, because the housing needs to go on there next. So let's go ahead and bolt on the housing. Again, we got the side part, and then we got the, pretty much the top, top and bottom. So here we go. This one goes from, oh, I'm getting it all mixed up here. This one goes here. Looks beautiful now. You can see how it looks like fully done. We could put our, we could put our, you know, our spark plug anytime on there. So I'm gonna do that. Yeah, you can see how it makes a little uh, raising part here. It's just enough for the tame tensioner. In fact, what we need to do is put the tame tensioner uh, Phillips bolt on. I'm rushing myself here now. Okay, here we go. Tame tensioner bolt is going back in. And you can see it also has a little seal ring as well on this one right here and the short little Phillip uh, thing. Number one Phillip because you don't want to make it too uh, narrow or too thin because it will strip this uh, Phillip. Give it a twist. There we go. I just use this one right here. So you can see how fatter the head is compared to a regular uh, just a standard Phillip. This is a number one Phillip. There you go, tighten it. Not to be so tightened, be fine. Okay. There we go, we're gonna put this in here. Just kind of groove into the slot where it came out of. You can see me just trying to wiggle this first. There you go, you can, you can usually take this off if you want to completely, but see, it just comes right off and then we can put it back in when we insert everything. Okay. That one's there, that one's there. Now we're gonna grab the bottom because we need to put the bottom part in there now. Okay, now we're gonna go and unscrew the scroll that we put here just to make sure we don't lose it. This doesn't need to be there anymore because we're gonna use it right now so we won't remember. It's all eight millimeters so that's very convenient. There we go. Let's unscrew there. 
Okay, I'm gonna go and just wiggle the bottom part. You can see they come up. You can see it from this angle too. So you pretty much is integrated. It's our interlock. So you just wanna make sure you kind of follow it. Don't force anything. It should come on easily. If it's made to be there, it should be there. See how it see? See how it seals itself and this one? As well as this one, and then we can put the very top one back in, which I'm gonna do that right now so you can see it. Okay, gotta get an angle for you here. Let's see if I can rest the camera. These are this is a really good camera holder, by the way. Just trying to make sure I figure it all out. Here we go. There we go. You can probably see it from here now. Okay. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just try to get this in here. We're gonna put this plastic back in, collect this vent for your stator and the camera's tilted. There we go. <laughs> there we go. I think I got a good position now. It's locked in there. I just gotta make sure I angle it. That way you can see it. Okay. Bear with me here. Don't know how long the camera for it tilts on forward again. So you could actually take this off and put this one back in and just kind of, again, it's kind of interlock these plastics. So kind of bear with it. There we go. I got that in there now. Now you can see here, there's another plastic and you can go over like that. And then this whole thing here can fit all in here. See how it fits into that groove there. I just 